Yes, it's a rear view mirror. Broke off my windshield today. Second time it's happened in seven years. This is off of a 1996 GMC Suburban, what I like to refer to as my urban assault vehicle. So I had to go to the store and pick me up some more of this rear view mirror adhesive. It's a two-step processing adhesive. It's got a cleaning and activator material inside this blue. It's like a it's like an eyeglass cleaner that you just open up and then the activator or the, the gluing part adhesive is right in there. Went up on their website. Yeah, information. More detailed information than what's on the package in microprint on how to do this. This is well, step one through five on this page, and then there are steps six through seven here. So we'll prepare the material. Take off my cable. This is one of those mirrors that does everything. It's got a compass and, and all kinds of stuff in this in this mirror General Motors product so we'll clean up the part that the that adheres to the windshield if it was in the vehicle it would be in this orientation it would be like this and this would, this would be the glass on the windshield would be right in this orientation and that's where it sticks this little button right here this right here is an adjustable uh, electrical outlet cover for the cable that plugs in here it provides all the smart stuff that this thing will do anyway so we'll take that off it's actually in two pieces and you save this for the final part of the installation tools well this 96 GMC suburban Chevy Suburbans. I think they're all about the same. It actually has a special torque nut right here. You need a tool for, and that's if you're familiar with these torch things, it's it's uh, T20. I don't know if I can get this or not. T20. I've got this special end to it. That goes in here. And on the other side is the button. So as I Unscrew this. This button is gonna it's gonna slip out. It's gotta remember the orientation. One end is round. And then one end is, is flat. And on the back side is a little indentation. So the end of the screw that I was just twisting 
it doesn't go you don't take it all the way out it's just uh, in there to, to hold it in place so it has a, a, a little pyramid tip on it on the end of it right there It only turns about two and a half times. And that's what holds this mirror to this. And this is what's actually glued onto the glass, front windshield glass. Now this goes on the windshield first. Let it set up, I say 30 minutes after it's been glued. I would give it a day. Now this is the same, and you don't glue it with, with this mirror base on it. The only thing that you're actually gluing to the windshield is this piece right here. This is the little detent, little divot hole that you'll be using for alignment once it sets up on the windshield. So this is the only thing we're going to be gluing. I'm going to be gluing this side right here, this flat side after I clean it up. I'll use a little sand sandpaper. See if I can rough it up a little bit. Like I said, this lasted four, seven years. Uh, same you know, epoxy thing that I'm using. So. show you some other information also on this mirror instructions well the tool that I was using I got from Husky it's a 36 piece precision screwdriver set Just has an extension for for this guy here. Kind of neat. It's one of those five dollar things you can pick up at Home Depot, or, and it has various torch. It's got all kinds of stuff, different types that fit into this handle. Standard, you know, Phillips screwdriver, regular blade. And then it has three other types of, of heads for these tool. So it's T20 is what we were looking for. Actually, you can buy a T20 or T15, but this is a, the size of this is a T20. T20. And it's a it's a tour T O R X and then the size is T20 in here it comes size T5 through uh, T20 actually it's got two T20s two T15s two T10s so not a bad little stocking stuffer for holidays to have on hand I use it with guitar work luthier type work so let's move on to the next A little over 70. 
so I'm well within the 50 to 75 temperature range. Well, that's a good thing. Inside, this is the electrical cable for the rear view mirror. And this is the little platform that I'm trying to remove any remnants of glue from my last application. But I think what messed this mirror up as far as not sticking after seven years was it sits in the hot sun outside and it does get probably 120 on average inside the vehicle. And I'm trying to just get some of the, I'm trying to get all of the glue off of this thing. And if your windshield didn't have this little mounting locator, I would be on the outside with a marker just outlining the outside of the windshield so I would know where to put my little button right here which is going to go right up right up there like that just have to wait wait for the glue to set up plug the mirror back in and melt the mirror to the windshield and we'll be all set. Again, this is for a 1996 GMC Suburban. I got my famous hat cam. That's what we're using right now. I had to use a flashlight too to see this better. Now we're going to do the test and apply power. I should get something lit up. Should be showing an SW, which it does, which is southwest. So we got the wiring hooked up correctly. We have it installed. And hopefully it's ready for another another seven or eight years to to uh, to last before I have to do this again. Hopefully I won't have to do this again. East, northwest. So we're all finished. So there's how you replace a rear view mirror for the second time in seven years.